Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at using Minitab. So essentially what I've done here first off to just to get just to get going is I've installed Minitab onto my P or my onto my laptop or my PC or whatever. And what I'm going to do here is I have here, uh, the icon, a little desktop icon, and I'm just going to press on that. And what happens is if, if I press on that, Minitab will come up. I just have it already open here already. Okay, so what will happen here is I get two session windows, sorry, a session window and also a worksheet window. And I've been messing around with it already. So your one might say worksheet one, okay, as opposed to two. Okay, up the top here, now just be very careful I'm up the top because I think if I things get very fidgety on this computer, so um, I'm, I might, there's a bit of this might happen over the side or well, I don't know. So just up at the top anyway. Uh, a couple of um, menus up here, the files, so that's just to open files. Uh, edit, that's just to sort of edit data. Data is just to sort of do things like subset data and combine data sets and merge data sets and so on and delete rows and so on. Uh, calc is calculation. So this is where we start off our statistical, some of our statistical calculations. The fifth menu is stat. And I think this is a very important one for this course. Basic statistics, regression, ANOVA, DOE. DOE stands for design of experiment. Control charts, quality tools, Reliability and survival, multivariate, time series, tables, non-parametric, equivalence test, power and sample size, and there you go. By the way, uh, just if you have trouble reading this, I think maybe what you should do is actually, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, just go to full screen. Okay, now, so let's start off. What I'm going to do here, there we go. That's not what I wanted to happen. Let's go back here. So what I'm going to do here, so just watch out for that is I'm going to try and open a data set. So I'm going to try and open an Excel data set. So this is already open for me. These are, This is just a collection of data sets I have. I'm going to try and open an Excel data set I have down the bottom here. I'm going to call, pick out Acid Rain. Okay. Now it's going to give me uh, ask me first row to import, last row to import. Uh, just as a matter of interest, it assumes that the first row to import gives the column names, okay? But what we might do over here is actually have a preview of it. And there we go. Uh, it just gives us the column indexes, C1, C2, C3, and the variable name, as in what variable that is. Site, rain. Yeah, that looks good. That's what we want. Okay. And click OK. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, there we go. This is our little data set set up. Okay, now I'm not going to do anything hard here. I'm just going to sort of uh, have a data set here and I just want to see what happens when I try run some basic statistics. So what I'm going to do here is go to file, or sorry, go to the top, go to stat, and I'm going to click on basic statistics. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is just actually do something very simple, display descriptive statistics. I'm going to click on that. Okay, a little dialog box comes up. Um, let's just pick out rain. Select that. So I just picked out rain here. I click on that and go down here and press select. There we go. You see the way it gets selected there onto the variables. H or H. Select that. And probably let's go to NO3. Let's just sort of skip over one there. Okay. So far, so good. By variables means optional. So if you want to sort of, uh, we'll come back to that one shortly. But it means if you want to have, a, if you want to have a look at multiple subcategories and some, compare, let's say one group versus another group in terms of rain H and NO3. That's how you might do it. We'll come back to that another time. So let's click here on statistics and see what we have here. So it just gives us all the usual statistics, mean, standard error of mean, we probably don't know what that is yet, um, standard deviation and variance, probably something that you're going to see very soon, minimum, maximum, and also range, which is sort of related to minimum and maximum. Uh, what we might do is unclick a few of these and so on. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's press OK on that. Uh, I think we've got everything there. We can look at graphs another time. But what we're going to do here is just click OK on that. And there we go. Now, we have our data window down here at the bottom. But you notice what has happened here is that our output 
as let's so let's just I'm going to sort of we I'm, I have was looking at this window here I'm going to bring it out a shot now so I'm going to spend much more time on the top window my session window and what I have at the start here is just some sort of um, uh, it's essentially the, 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 the descriptive statistics for all the variables I've collected up like rain H N O three. There we have the mean, standard deviation, and variance. I've selected those ones. The minimum Q one, median Q three, maximum, and range of each variable. So just essentially how we collect up some basic statistics for each of our variables. So it's just the sort of the very simplest way we can use Minitab. So I think I'm going to call that a video, and we'll move on to the next one.